Hey everyone, today we're gonna to learn how to create themes inside of Camtasia 2023 and how to use those themes throughout your different uh, annotations or the different templates available inside of Camtasia. So let's go ahead and get started. My name is Jeff Bat. If you haven't checked out my website already, go ahead and check out my website at learningdojo.ninja. Here you can check out all previous blog posts covering everything learning development related. And this has to do with creating different images instead of Photoshop, working with Storyline, working with Camtasia, other things like that. You can also download free templates, and these are templates instead of Articulate Storyline 360 and XAPI and video templates. And if any of these topics are new to you, you can check out full courses, everything from A to Z in Articulate Storyline 360, Adobe Captivate, XAPI Fundamentals, Camtasia, Articulate Rise, Custom Score, and HTML5 Video. Every company has their own brand and they have their own colors and secondary colors, everything like that, that they want to use across the board. So using themes inside of Camtasia allows you to establish the colors that you want to use inside of your course without having to change them every single time when you create a new video. I'm in Camtasia 2023 and I already have a project pulled up and I'm inside of the editor UI. To create a theme inside of Camtasia, what I need to do is if I'm on a PC, I go into file and then I go into manage themes. But since I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna go into Camtasia 2023 menu and then go into manage themes. It's just two different ways depending on if you're a Mac or if you're on a PC. This is my default theme. If I just want to use the default theme across the board, I can just go ahead and change the default theme here, which means that I change the foreground color and the two background colors, the accent colors, and so forth. Then I choose the annotation background default, and we'll talk about what that is here in a second. But if I come into the font section, this is where I can create two different fonts that are going to be used as part of my theme and then my logo. Right now, I just have a default theme. I can come in here and I can rename the default. I can delete that default if I wanted to. I can export it out and share themes with other people, or I can import themes and use those themes that somebody else has shared as well. This is where you come in, especially if you're on a team and you're sharing these themes across the board, you'd want to export and you'd want to import. But I'm gonna go ahead and create a new theme. I'm gonna create my Learning Dojo theme here. I have my color palette. I'll pull that up real quick. These are the different colors that I use for Learning Dojo. I'm gonna go ahead and just move that off to the side and then I'm going to click OK. Now it's going to pick a couple different colors for me. I'm gonna select this foreground color. I kinda of like the gray color. I'm gonna choose the background color one as being this color right here. Because I have this pulled up to the side, I could actually just use the eyedropper tool and go ahead and just pull that over. Or I could come over here and just copy this hex value and when I select that drop down box, I can just paste it right there. It's up to you, but that's color number one. I'm gonna come in here and choose color number two. So I kind of like this pinkish, peachish color, however you wanna name that, but I'm gonna grab this green color and we're gonna name one more accent color and this is going to be this yellowish color. I want the main annotation. This is basically the main one. You can change it easily to whatever color for the different annotations, which annotations are like shapes and callouts and other things like that. Now I'll come into my fonts. My default font that I use for Learning Dojo is Open Sans. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that as the main font. Notice this preview over here. The preview will give me an indication of how these colors kind of combine. I can go ahead and choose that on a light background or a dark background, and I can see how they work with both. And so that's really what that preview does. Now I can come in and choose a secondary color. I'm gonna choose the secondary font to be Roboto. You don't actually have to choose a secondary font. You can just leave that as blank, so keep that in mind. All right, I now have this Learning Dojo theme and you can create as many themes as you want. I know large organizations have different departments and depending on the department, they may have their own brand. So you may come in here and just create as many themes as you want. I can choose a logo as well. Notice this space right here. This is where a logo will come into play. It really is best for like a square logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my Learning Dojo icon here and you'll notice how that fits. I may want this color to be different, but again, it's just a preview. I can change these colors however I want. I'm just establishing what the brand is essentially. I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. Now I could come in and I could start to update things. So if I go into annotations, 
Notice I have the theme right here. If I select this drop down theme and I go to Learning Dojo, it will actually select the font and the color for Learning Dojo. It's going to choose that main color that I defined earlier. That's why it's all blue. If I drag this out though, notice if I select this drop down box, I can actually select the Learning Dojo here and change this to whatever color that I want. So you're not just stuck with that blue color. You can go into the themes and you can choose whatever color you want there. And if I select this out, notice how this already has that open sans color. But if I come back into the default theme and select this, notice I'm having an issue. And I think it's because of this font right here, the default font is not really installed correctly on my computer, which is the reason why I have that issue. But even though I drag that out, even without that theme, I can select that theme here and it will automatically update my text. Just by selecting the theme, it's gonna have the right font. With text, I could actually even come in here and notice this theme section, go to Learning Dojo and switch this over to Roboto. That is one of the benefits of having um, your theme there is you can quickly get the right font and adjust the different fonts. Even though I established the main font as Open Sans, I can still switch it over just like I can with the colors. This one, for some reason, has an outline. I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of the thickness on that outline so that looks a little bit better. So let's go ahead and just see what this looks like with the library. In the library, I have the title section here. And in the title section, there are some different types of lower third titles. If I drag this out, notice how that lower third has an icon. It has that font that's not really performing that well. I'm gonna stretch this out a little bit more here. I want to easily fix this, and you can do this easily just by coming into the Learning Dojo theme. Now notice how it places my icon right there. It updates the colors. I can come in here and change the colors to whatever color that I want. The secondary color, color two, let's say I want this to be the yellow or something like that. I can change all of that here. Just a quick and easy way to be able to update some of the assets that you may be working with inside of Camtasia to automatically have your logo, to automatically have your font, to automatically have your color as well. If you don't wanna have to change it from the drop-down box, then you could just update the default color and it will automatically have that no matter what. A default is that, that default, this is what I want, but then every other theme, is basically allows me to adjust it depending on if I'm creating videos for a certain department or if I'm a um, contractor and I'm basically creating them for different clients, different things like that. That is the power of themes inside of Camtasia 2023. And I just wanted to walk through a couple of examples of why you'd want to go in and update those themes and use those themes inside of annotations and text and other things like that. Hopefully that was useful for you. So if you wanna check out more tutorials, head on over to my website at learningdojo.ninja. Here you can check out all previous blog posts covering all learning development topics. You can also download free templates in Articulate Storyline 360, XAPI, and video templates. And you can check out full courses, everything from A to Z in Articulate Storyline 360, Adobe Captivate, XAPI Fundamentals, Camtasia, Articulate Rise, Custom Scorm, and HTML5 video. And if you like this video, head on over to my YouTube channel, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell notification so you get notified of all future videos as they come out. That really helps my channel, allows me to continue to produce these videos for you to help you out, and also allows my channel to grow. Well, that's all I have for you. So thanks everyone. And I'll see you next time. Yeah.